The key health and equality issues in Hackney are um, not straightforward. <clears throat> the obvious ones are uh, income and uh, language and education. But behind that lies a, um, a lack of confidence in local people from different communities that they have any say in the society at all and that they are a part of it even. And so the level of people's sense of marginalisation is very deep and is very difficult for people to communicate. And so health inequalities and inequalities generally are, um, are seen as being the fault of the um, people themselves instead of something fundamentally wrong with the way the society is embracing or not embracing people. Some doctors normally, you know, um, it has been, I think, for a while. Uh, when they spot you have just come to the country, you are all from which African country, you can't speak English properly, Global, uh, at that time you don't understand English as well. So it is like, okay, um, you can't explain exactly what is um, your problem. Because if you say, oh, I have a headache, all this and that, then um, he's the one to decide, oh, I'll give you paracetam for the headache. But then something else, you won't be given any medicine. And then you go back, you come back again. So with the GPs, uh, I don't think um, people from different countries those who are lucky, they are lucky to get good GPs. I'm not going to mention what color or what type of GP, but some GP we are not happy with them because of their treatment. If people can train to learn how to treat other people, treat other people as you would like to be treated, yeah, I think that will help. The number of issues that the community is facing is partly on to do with uh, their ability to access the, the the services that are available. And then the other issue is that uh, some of these f services are not they are not aware of these services, and uh, it so happens that uh, the information that flow out is not adequate or must doesn't reach them in properly. That's why they've got uh, problems with accessing the services available. Uh, I had an operation on my breast, which they said that my veins are blocked. And they didn't tell me why they blocked. And up to today, I don't know why. Um, I was supposed to be set to set, be send an appointment, but they forgot to send that appointment. But the hospital not telling me and not them knowing what is wrong with me. So that's the barrier, because they can't give me any medication, because they don't know what it is. So I find it really difficult to go on. I still have the pain there, I still have everything there, but no treatment. Uh, according to my knowledge and experience, the main issue is mental health. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, because of the stress and depression, and uh, many people coming here healthy, but because of the conditions are so different and doesn't fulfill their expectations, people really shocked a kind of uh, trauma uh, affect uh, their health and mental illnesses start showing it, it sell, it themselves in many people. And the most important uh, Example of it, last year 11 people commit suicide among Turkish and Kurdish community. Most of them is invisible uh, people in Hackney living in isolation, dying in isolation. In terms of access to services, BME communities often face a range of particular barriers in accessing appropriate services. So for example with gypsies and travellers, um, because they are considered transient communities and don't have w what doctors would consider to be a permanent address,
they can't access full services from GPs. One of our concerns at Rota is that increasingly policies are having less of a focus specifically on race inequality. Um, the Mayor of London, for example, has recently launched a health inequality strategy, which is very minimal reference to the specific health inequalities faced by BME communities. Some of the reasons that the um, that these initiatives that have been undertaken by the statutory sector with the best intentions have failed because they are top down, because they are about a prescriptive solution that they want to see achieved and they try and put money in the way to make that happen. Community development work and challenging and working with health inequalities is it will not it, they will not be reduced that way. They have to come from the people. The 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 um the solutions lie within local communities and until statutory agencies accept that that the work has to be done bottom up, has to be locally owned and locally controlled and locally led uh, by c communities themselves. This, these initiatives will never work and health inequalities will increase. I know people dying at home, uh, AIDS, HIV, and I know some people living uh, over overcrowded room, not house, rooms, seven people in one room. 12 people in one, one, one and a half room. <laughs> I know many cases like that, mid, middle of the Hackney, but to, they have to find out themselves by contacting us, by making research and survey. And they have to f f find solutions together with these people. People themselves know, they think about their own problems and thinking about their uh, solutions as well. And if they work together, maybe more investment comes to to the borough to solve the problems. Otherwise, things are getting worse and worse. You need to have all these safeguard measuring to ensure all people they are benefiting from these uh, equality issues. But equally, I think it is important to link it with um, uh, human rights and equality laws because without having that, you are not going to take it forward unless it is being embedded in all aspects of the health services, in planning, in delivery, and also in um, costing it, it will not be effective. And that is why it is needed to be looked at in really very serious and particular way. We have an opportunity now that we haven't had for the last maybe 100 years, certainly the last 60 or 80 years, um, where we can put health on the agenda and people can take control for themselves because the economic situation is in meltdown. And that opens up opportunities for people to become more self-determining. If there is clear openness and then there is representation from the communities concerned, that would actually be able to, to, to I mean, they will be able to take on board issues and uh, the concerns of the community. Well, I would like the doctors to look us after us as they look after themselves. That's so. We just need to be treated nicely, equally, just equally, all of us. Yeah, we need that.